Michelle, don't tell anyone, but I am more excited about React Miami than like any other conference right now. <laughs> <laughs> you always amaze me. Um, you're, you're an incredible organizer and an incredibly thoughtful person. And I have this talk that I'm doing at uh, React Miami, but it's focused or it was created in the time that I was employed at Chromatic, as an organizer, there's so many things that you have to worry about. And and I hadn't thought about employment of these speakers being a piece of that. Has the, Is this something that's come up for you before in previous conferences or even this conference with other people? Yeah, so this is our third year of React Miami, and it's not something that I ever anticipated in our first year. But it happens inevitably. I think every year that's there's some substantial change to either a speaker's talk or where they're employed, or even if they're able to come to the conference at all. It happens every year yeah. where there's like a change to the original schedule or the original plan. And it just in retrospect, it just made perfect sense. Like, especially when you look at tech as an industry where people have usually they stay with a, a company for about two to three years. There's a lot of like jumping mm -hmm. around and switching around. So in retrospect, yeah, okay, this is something that we should have expected. But yeah, again, every year it is something that we experience where somebody either is let go from their job or they switch companies. Or it also happens where they're just like, I don't feel enthusiastic about my talk anymore <laughs> at all. <laughs> and that's like another thing where like maybe they kind of have fatigue or burnout around what they proposed. So it happens. That has to be incredibly challenging from an organization perspective. We don't see so many of the challenges. We just see like that, you know, maybe our favorite talk was canceled and don't realize that that was like a very like compassionate thing on the part of the organizer to allow to happen. Um, and so how do you, how does that like feel for you when you're like kind of standing in the gap between these two sets of expectations? There's a crosshair of how a talk is selected. And a lot of it has to do with the person that's going to present it. Um, not in the sense mm. that they have to be like able to draw a crowd or any kind of like celebrity or anything like that, but that there's somebody that's going to be, you know, excited to come to the conference, somebody that's going to, that I can mm -hmm. tell is going to put a lot of effort into whatever they present. Um, and somebody mm -hmm. that's going to be kind to the other attendees and open and receptive to mm -hmm. networking and connecting. And so when I'm picking out the topics, it's pretty thin, you know, like I, I, I'm like, I want to design mm -hmm. talk. I want, you know, a talk about RSCs. I want a talk um, where somebody's showing something that they built and want to talk about security. And you can almost mm. only pick like one topic for each of those categories in order to cover them all. When you can't present your original idea anymore, for me, it's, it's, it's like, 80% is totally okay. And then that last little bit is just trying to find something <laughs> else that they can talk about that's not stepping on somebody else's toes or like doubling up on a yeah. topic um, that's already been presented. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that happens or it's like, oh, somebody is giving almost ex exact same talk. Like, is there something else that you want to present? Um, <laughs> that's really more of the consideration so that there can be something valuable that's still presented that's filling in this missing piece. Um, and it's not like redundant. Yeah. You do an exceptional job of designing it. And that's why I wanted to talk with you because I feel like, you know, you more than anyone else might feel that pressure of like, I want to be very compassionate to the, the, the speaker, but also the audience um, in that we've, we've kind of sold this ecosystem schedule right? Where someone can come in and learn a lot about a lot of things. And uh, it does seem like a very challenging place to exist. So from the perspective of someone who's had a life event um, that changes what they maybe feel comfortable talking about, what they are encouraged to talk about, etc. You were gracious enough to start that conversation with me. Um, but if you know someone was feeling terror about what was upcoming and you know paralysis around what they should do about it what would be a great way to reach out to an organizer and start that conversation it really depends on like how who the organizers are and and kind mm -hmm. of how they approach something like this and what the where you, you know really understanding where your conference talk fit into the lineup and why they want you there i've left 
companies where I did a lot of talks on their behalf. It, w- it was like a weird transition out of a company where there were like also like really random, like weird cease and desist involved. And so then there's like legal stuff. So oh. you're like kind of being threatened, like not to talk about stuff or yeah. things that happened. If you're not comfortable giving a talk on behalf of like a company anymore or what they do, reaching out to the organizer and kind of just explaining like this relationship has ended with this company. Um, I would I would love to work on creating another proposal with you. Um, I would love to like still be a part of your speaker mm. lineup and and work on something. I think offering to work on a title together is probably one of the more important things because again, they have a vision mm. of like what the whole kaleidoscope of talks look like once it's all together. Most organizers that I've known and met are really nice people. And this is mm-hmm. far from the craziest thing that's happening. You're like a request like this <laughs> is is so far from the worst like message that they're getting, or like the worst like <laughs> totally. news that they're getting. Um, so I wouldn't be yeah. sure that you're like ruining everything either. Like this is a very manageable thing, all things considered. There is a tendency to feel like. Oh man, like I ruined everything. Like, and just, I, th- I, I think also like you're kind of in that mode anyway. Like I've worked through a lot of my shame, right? But even so, I do feel like I made a commitment to Michelle that I was going to be a part of this lineup in the way that like I made a commitment, you know, and I want to follow through with that. So I can totally imagine like if this is your, like maybe this is your first talk or like you're just breaking into this, like just having, feeling so much anxiety around ruining something. And so I really appreciate that insight of like, hey, hey, this is a solvable problem. Like, and mm-hmm. if you come into it willing to adapt and like have that energy, that that's actually like a plus. Like you'll figure it out and it'll be maybe a positive thing in the end. You may not even be the only person this year in this lineup that's having this conversation. There can be multiple people having this conversation yeah. too. So it's just par for the course. Well, I want to respect your time because I know that you have uh, React Miami is imminent. It is it is on its way. It's coming in right now. Um, tell me a little bit about the conference, what you're most excited about, and where people can find uh, find a ticket, get involved, and hang out with both of us and yeah. the, the, the the other suite of cool people that you've uh, you've collected. Yeah, uh, I've collected people way out of my weight class for this one. I can't even believe. <laughs> I can't even believe who wants to be involved. I'm just like really, really excited about it. Um, and I feel really, really lucky. People are always like, how, how did you do this? And I'm like, it's Miami. I don't do anything. The city, the city draws me all. I just give people a place to show up and meet. But yeah, reactmiami.com is going to have all of the information about the conference and where you can get tickets. I'm really excited this year. We're switching up the format like in a really big way. Normally we do two day conference in the convention center, single track of talks. They're all around 20 minutes each, but this year we're changing it up so that each day has a different format. First day is, you know, just like how it is in the previous years, single track, 20 minute talks. The second day is what we're calling mini masterclasses. So they're about Mm -hmm. an hour long. They kind of sit between a talk and a workshop. So it's not like a full three hour, six hour workshop, Mm -hmm. but it's more than that 20 minute, you know, kind of slice of information. And the whole purpose of them is to just be more interactive and engaged. All of the presenters for these masterclasses are like, this space is a blank canvas. If you want to if you want to like do arts and crafts with your attendees to illustrate the purpose <laughs> yeah, of your yeah, talk, I love that. like this is your space to create in. So feel free to do something. I have a feeling that they're going to be more traditional, but I would like to see somebody just go crazy with, with an idea. It's also day one is in the Miami Beach Convention Center within Emerge Americas, which is this huge ecosystem conference in South Florida. So everybody gets to attend that conference as well. The second day we're going to be in downtown Miami, which is a very different feel. 
Um, and there's a lot of really great things about downtown. It's undergoing like a huge, like historic revival right now. And so cool. um, we cool. got to partner with a group down there called Mana Tech, and they're going to be hosting us in their co-working space and their event spaces. And awesome. um, we get to kind of like explore downtown in the morning. We have these kind of like activities that you can do in the park nearby, and then you can attend the workshops later in the day you know, talk about like being consistent to your word. Like I, I hope nothing falls through here, but like there's a really cool food hall <laughs> right next to us that I think we're going to collaborate with. Um, and awesome. then like have at the end of the day, like a live episode of Syntax FM to like be the grand finale. So there's just a lot yes. that I'm really excited about. Uh, and I just can't wait to do it. <laughs> I can't wait either. I, I'm excited because I am actually doing one of those uh, mini master classes. I've never seen a format uh, like that. I think it's so cool that you're offering a open mini workshop thing um, because I think that when you have that longer time slot available, you can almost take advantage of the fact that everybody has their laptops open <laughs> while yeah. uh, listening to your talk. And I really, I'm excited to explore that format. I think it has the opportunity to extend into more uh, conferences. And so I'm excited that you're trying something uh, new and different. And uh, I think if, if I were maybe more mentally, emotionally prepared, I could have done an arts and crafts type thing. So maybe <laughs> next year I'll, 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 I'll help swing the, swing the arc to just be fully weird. <laughs> Uh, with you yeah well we do have monica powell doing an art based talk so we do have some yes. art things happening awesome she's perfect for that i love yeah. that that's gonna be amazing um okay so react miami is the place um i do want to i just have to i have to i can't let it stand that it's just miami because i i'm coming to miami to see it through your eyes i think that that you have built such You've exported such an incredible excitement about Miami that I am excited to experience it um, through the way that you see it. And so I just want to give credit where credit is due. I think <laughs> you are the, the the magnetic force that's bringing us to Miami. And so, uh, yes, thank you for that. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, we're going to have an awesome time. Uh, any any uh, final words? Um, we know reactmiami.com. Uh, Twitter, I assume, React Miami as well. I never actually see the handles anymore. React Miami comp on Instagram and Twitter. Michelle, thank you so much. I cannot wait to hang out with you uh, in, in Miami. It's going to be amazing. Um, we'll, we'll see you soon, huh? <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>